said, growing up, we were told as kids there were only two genders, male and female. But that is a damn lie in 2024. How many are there? Sexualdiversity.org reports there are 107, 107 genders out there. That includes omnigender, two-spirit, pangender, genderqueer, a gender, and Demi Boy, just to name a few. Joining us to talk about it here on The Factor Uncensored, a member of Houston's transgender community, Mo Lottie, and conservative Melissa Wilson. So, Mo, first of all, y y your thoughts on 107. Is that too damn many? Or Isaiah, the factor of the matter is, <laughs> I just learned that there are 107 today. Oh, I, you learned today? Yes. <laughs> I always thought that it was girls, guys, and otherwise. Uh -huh. Which, you're a guy, you're a girl, and I'm the otherwise. And that's what I always thought. But I did learn today that there were 107, and I'm not fully educated on those. But I am educated on the third, which is transgender. I didn't see it on that list. But I feel like... We, the, we gave the, the, the ones people probably haven't heard of. Right, and yeah. I haven't heard of a lot of those. I have heard of Demi Boy. I'm not familiar with what the term exactly means, but I've heard of it before. But um, I know that what I am educated on is transgender, mm -hmm. and that's what I identify am. And my pronouns is she, hers, and hers. And I was born male, but I identify as female, and I've chemically changed everything to become that. Mm -hmm. And um, I have the luxury of having the support also from my mother, my father. I have 10 siblings, six sisters, four brothers. And, and you're to very mom. lucky to have that yes, family support. Yes, and I know support. that that's not a lot of girls' story as right, well. So right. that's why it was um, something I wanted to hop on as far as coming here publicly and say, because I, I don't see a lot of girls having that story and that background. And I have a military family too. So when I say that, a lot of people automatically assume like, oh, you know, your parent probably disowned you or something like that. But no, my parents are very supportive. I've had them the entire way of my transition and they identify me as my pronouns that I choose to identify as. So and that makes it a lot easier. For but, me. but your pronoun is standard. It's simple, what Correct. everyone knows. Correct. But Melissa, your thoughts on all the other 108 or 106. 107, 100, was it 107, 106? Yeah. Mo, got, Mo got one, <laughs> so then we talk about the other 106. At some point, you have to look at this stuff and say this is ridiculous. Like, what makes 100 plus different identities okay? You know, you have to say, okay, you know, I get it. I understand that you know, people want to identify however they wish. But some of this stuff is borderline excessive. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's confusing. Matter of fact, what is Demi Boy? Do you know, know what that so is? You look that up, I and then that we'll is? come back I, no, to that one. I don't, one. but okay. I feel like... I feel like this. This is my personal opinion. I feel like if everybody really focused on minding their business, it wouldn't even be confusing to you because if somebody identifies as something, what does that have to do with you? I feel like people concern themselves a little too much with other people's problems and priorities. But See, and I, I feel think like that's some people what... don't need that. And I feel like that's what made my family a little more accepting is because I didn't need their approval. Mm -hmm. I didn't need to come to them and ask for permission. I didn't need any of that. I was me. I stood on business. And I made the decision based off what I felt. And I feel like when they were able to capture that genuineness and it, they were able to see that this is something that has been going on with this person since a very young age, and this is not something that's being forced. This is something that comes natural. A lot of people can't understand natural because they're so busy faking and living double lives and faking around and pretending to be something that they're not. So when they actually see somebody living their truth, that is confusing to them because that's not normal for what their reality is. All right, Melissa, okay. real quick. And Demi Boy, a person who identifies with aspects of masculinity regardless of their sex assigned at birth. So the question, when does be this become a joke? When does it become a mockery? It's a joke now. The America is being made a mockery. You go to other countries, they're looking at Americans as foolish, you know, because we have all these different things going on. And people are And overweight. so here, here's the they thing. Look at that here's foolery. the thing when it comes to what people want to do in their personal lives. Nobody, most people, most people I know, including myself, they don't have an issue with you doing your personal life. The issue is you're bringing your personal life to other lives.
Mm -hmm. So, for example, there are laws being passed, for example, the bathroom bill, you know, that, that those laws are being passed where it could, it, yeah, it's protecting a marginalized, potentially protecting a marginalized group and allowing them to have access to, let's say, the women's bathroom in her mm -hmm. case. But when you expose especially me, I'm, a, I'm an actual natural born woman and I have girls, you could potentially expose them to men coming in saying, hey, I'm a woman, let me use that bathroom. Mm -hmm. So my issue isn't necessarily what they're doing in their bedrooms and their personal lives. My issue is the fact that you're bringing that to us. In a okay? case like that, Mo, sh should there be proof or something I to the fact where uh, to a, uh, uh, a filthy guy who has up to nefarious plans say, I'm a woman, right. I won't go into this bathroom? And I do think there are delusions, but I also feel like those are things that can be, that can be, I feel like if you're really paying attention, like you say, confused, I feel like you could see those things. You could tell when somebody is genuinely being themselves mm -hmm. per, versus someone who's, like she used, mocking. I feel like when you see a transgender woman nine times out of ten, not every transgender woman, because I haven't met every transgender woman, but nine times out of ten, that is someone that feels like that. They're genuinely being them. That's not a man in a dress. It's not Medea. It's not Martin Lawrence. You got 20 it's seconds. Mama. Go ahead. Okay, so, but, but at some point, regardless of and the fact, not at uh, regardless, of the, fact, not at regardless of the fact of how a person may feel about that particular situation, mm -hmm. oh, this person may look like it, they may feel like it, the bottom line is you have have regulation currently that is being pushed that could potentially harm actual natural women and They're girls. Putting guns because, in the hands of our youth. Okay, Why are we so focused on transgender uh, but, matters? There's more important things uh, okay. to be worried about than people that are living right, their lives that, that are not harming anyone, babe. Okay, so then there's other issues. There's the girls' sports issue, you know? I that, agree with that. that. I don't I feel like trans women should be put in women's sports, but I also don't feel like they should put, be put in men's sports. Okay. Well, they should have they should have a league of their own. Right. I agree with that. They, okay, but you're a minority when it comes to that because most of the people black I've people spoke are a with, minority sweetheart. But, no, black people are a minority. Yes, mm -hmm. you're correct, but you're a minority when it comes to that thought process is what as I'm trying to what? say. What you just said, you said that you said that you felt like. It but you there's a community of transgender women that right. feel like that, but we don't get the platform to be able to speak right. that. They okay. choose the ones but, that... But the ones that are currently out pushing the re regulation uh -huh. are not you. All right. Okay. Right. Got to go, guys. We want to thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank I do. you. <laughs> thank y'all for having me. We could have went on me. and on. Thank yeah. you. My Still ahead tonight, a...